welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel from Thrive and Truth and I'm so excited that you're here. Today I am going to teach you how to soap through the Bible. Now soap is an acronym that stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. Now I love this method so much. It's the first method that I used when I first started reading the Bible and it helped me really understand what I was reading and apply it to my particular situation. And I just loved it so much that I actually designed a few journals that are available on Amazon now that you can pick up. This one is called Navy Blooms and it has the soap. It's all designed for you to be able to soak through it. There's a section for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. Now I was reading in the book of John and I already found the scripture that I'm going to soak through today. But first, let me tell you what that even means. So soap, like I said, it stands for scripture. So as you're reading through the Bible, is there a particular verse that jumps out at you? Whatever verse that is, you're gonna to wanna to highlight it if you like to write in your Bible. I certainly do. And you're going to write that scripture down right here in the scripture box. There's plenty of room to do that. And then observation, you're going to write about what did you observe about this particular verse? Like, why did it stand out to you? Did it just reveal a new truth to you? Did it just reveal something to you about God? Or is there something in the context that just jumped out? Like, why did this particular scripture jump out to you? What does it mean? And then application is going to be how can you apply that scripture to your particular life or situation? Okay, so you're going to think about how this is not just a good scripture in general, but how maybe it's a good scripture for you and right now. Finally, you are going to pray about it. You're going to ask God to help you apply the scripture to your life or you're simply going to thank him for it. Maybe it's um, the scripture Jeremiah 29 11 and I'm not going to recite the whole thing because I can't remember on the top of my head while someone's filming me um, while I'm filming myself. But maybe you're to say thank you for this. Thank you that you have plans for me. Thank you that um, you know you don't plan to harm me or help, help me remember this. You're just going to help. You're just going to pray about applying that and ask God to help you apply that to your life. So let's jump in and I am going to be soaking through the book of John. All right. So I'm in the book of John chapter four and I was reading through and the scripture that stood out to me that I really wanted to soap about was this one right here. 439 where it says many of the Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. Now this is the woman at the well um, who Je Jesus spoke and she says he told me um, what he said he told me everything I ever did and so she goes back into the town and she tells everyone what this Jewish man told her and that he was the Messiah and she goes and tells everyone her testimony. So I thought that was really powerful and I wanted to soap about that particular scripture. Okay, so I've got this scripture down and now I'm going to write about what I observed about this particular scripture. So what I observed about this particular scripture is the courage of this woman who most likely was at the well at the middle of the day because she was ashamed and didn't want to be around other people, but she had the courage to go and tell everyone her testimony, tell everyone her encounter with Jesus. And because of that, they believed. And that's so, it just pointed out the powerfulness of just sharing what Jesus has done for you. So I'm going to go ahead and write a little about that. All right. So here's what I wrote. It took a great amount of courage to simply tell everyone about Jesus, but that simple act caused many to believe in him. Sharing our testimonies is powerful. Now, how can I apply this to my life? What I think, the way that I think this applies to my life is that I should also have the same courage to simply share my testimony about what Jesus has done for me. That doesn't mean I have to know all the things. I don't have to know everything about the Bible. All this woman did was tell people about the encounter that she had with Jesus. She simply told him about the compassion that he had for her, that he met her there where she was at the well. And simply because of that, they believe that's all it takes is just sharing our stories. I wrote, I can be more intentional about sharing what Jesus has done in my life. I don't have to always focus on Bible knowledge. 
my story can be impactful. Now I'm going to pray about everything that I just wrote down. I'm going to pray about this application and ask God, how can I apply this to my life? How can um, I'm going to pray and ask for him to give me opportunities to share my um, story. And I'm also going to be thankful that he gave this like super simple um, act. That's all we have to do is just our stories are so powerful. Here's my prayer. Lord, help me to be bold enough to tell others what you have done so that they may believe. Give me opportunities to do this. And I always have to finish any of my prayers at a journal. In Jesus' name, amen. Like it's it's not complete if I don't put in Jesus' name. Okay. It's not a prayer. It doesn't, it doesn't count to me. <laughs> so I always sign it that way. So that and is how I soap through my Bible. And again, these journals, I have three different covers right now. I have one that's like neutral, masculine-ish available as well. And they're all on Amazon on and my links are down below. There are also a lined version of each of the covers as well. Um, just in case you don't need a soap journal, but you just want to take general notes, it could be on anything. And I have two more covers coming out soon. I just don't know the dates. Now these journals are their soft cover and they have like a wax coating on them so they're like super smooth and they're flexible the paper is pretty good quality paper uh, they're six by nine and what I like about them and the way the reason why I designed them this way and to not be super thick there's about there's 90 pages I believe in here so you should be able to do this for about three months once a day for about three months so it lasts um, a pretty good time and Here's my Bible, so they're six by nine, and I like that you can just pick them up and grab it. You can put them in your church bag or throw it in your purse if your purse is big enough because it's not too big. And I personally like switching out my journals a lot. I like having different covers, and I like having for different seasons in my life. I will have them for prayer, then I'll have them for church notes, and I will kind of know by the cover what went on during that time or what's in that journal. And so that's why they're good for three months, but then you can switch them out. I actually like them to use them less than that, but I know not everyone does. So there's three months worth of soap pages in here if you were to do this once a day. It's such a great way to stay disciplined. My husband got the masculine version. He actually went on Amazon and ordered it too, just like everyone else. And he has been using that and he says that it's helped him be more disciplined in reading the Bible because it's not so intimidating. Like studying the Bible sounds super intimidating. You can go way more in depth than this, but this is just a great way to understand what you're reading and then apply it to your life. So you're not just kind of mindlessly reading through the Bible. You're actually trying to transform your life through the truth of God. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.